Brewers hosting the Marlins. The Marlins are plus 180 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 215. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Weather will not be a factor in this game because of the dome, and those are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Both of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team this season. Rodgers, three and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost 7-5. He struck out four. Peralta, seven innings, one run, one earned. They lost one nothing, and he struck out seven. I, I recall, I think I bet the Brewers in that game, and I was pissed. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The home team is 7-3. and three. The underdog is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four on the run line. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1, and one, and the under 7.5 is 6-4. And, and the Marlins are 2-1 and one against the Brewers this season. They've only played one series, and it was in Miami. Uh, of course, they didn't confirm the starters all the way. Rodgers is going on four days rest. They've won his last two starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 4.3 strikeouts, 16.3 outs recorded, 4.8 hits, 2.3 walks, 2.1 runs, two of which are earned. 0.6 home runs, 92.8 pitches per game, and 17.8 pitches per inning, and that's over his last 10 starts. Now for the Brewers, it's going to be Peralta. He's going on five days rest. In his last 10 starts, they did win his last start. Five innings pitched, 6.7 strikeouts, 15.7 outs. He's another guy that you'd like to bet on the K line because you can get him usually reasonable for five strikeouts. 4.6 hits, two walks, 2.4 earned runs, or 2.4 runs, 2.3 of which were earned. 0.7 home runs, 100.4 pitches per game, and 19.9 pitches per inning. And that's an average over his last 10 starts. The Marlins are 2-2 two and two in their last four. 10 runs, 9 runs, 9 runs, and then 13 runs. Four runs in a loss, six runs in a win, six runs in a win, and then six runs in the loss today. They lost in extra innings, I believe. And for the Brewers, they are six and four in their last ten. The over-under is five and five, and they're five and one in their last six. Fifteen runs, four runs, one run, five runs. Eight runs in a win, one run in a loss, one run in a win, three runs in a win. I just think that this is going to be a lower scoring game with Peralta on the mound. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I will take the Brewers laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. Although the Marlins have been playing up to their opponent, so if you wanted to bet them getting the runs and take a shot, they're fairly reasonable right now. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.